friends, it's time for the midweek encouragement. And in between us this morning is a little bit of a Christmas decoration. <laughs> a little branch outside with some candy canes and a white star, thanks to the one and only Joy. But it is time to get those decorations out as we begin to celebrate this Christmas season, the coming of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But it does involve, as we begin on December 1st, pretty soon, a lot of waiting till December 25th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're watching this on Wednesday, it's uh, the eve of December 1st. And maybe you have one of these and you're that. starting to count down to Christmas. Oh, yeah. And all the way down to 24. It's... Uh, yeah, it's only 24 days, 25 days, but it seems like an eternity, especially if you're a kid. Or you're 49. Yeah, and you're <laughs> anticipating Christmas. Anticipating family time and things like that. Maybe that's you too, but we're saying this because we're telling you we need to have patience. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll just put it really clearly. That was just kind of a story to say, we need patience. Mm -hmm. We're not kids, but we need patience. Sometimes adults have a harder time waiting, not for Christmas presents, but things maybe God has promised or for trials to be over and we take matters into our own hand and we need to be patient. Yeah, it, it doesn't come naturally. <laughs> no. At all. <laughs> because we like control. To any of us, yes. It, it, uh, yeah, when we don't see anything happening, mm -hmm. when it's dark out yeah. there. And I'm dark speaking, evenings. Literally dark. <laughs> no, spiritually outside. dark. It seems bleak. It seems like nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. um we, yeah our temptation is to make something happen and uh yeah god knows that he knows our weakness he knows our nature uh, but as we choose to walk by faith and mm -hmm. not by sight uh he can do great things in transforming us into his character because he is patient he is long-suffering amen and we saw in second corinthians 5 the whole idea of walking by faith and we talked about that a couple of weeks ago, but Paul said he was patient in his ministry. And we want that same patience, as Amy said, that takes faith. And yesterday in my reading, I was in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. Uh, that's just where my reading fell. And the verse of the day on the U version was... Mm -hmm. Hebrews 11, 1. Ah, All about faith. Faith. I think God had a message for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's encouraging us to have faith in the waiting, uh, to not lose heart, to not get discouraged, to remember that there's a lot that's happening that we don't see, and to continue to put our trust and our faith in what is unseen and, and what is eternal. Yeah, so we want to encourage you. Maybe you're waiting for something. Maybe you're frustrated. Maybe you're being tempted to step outside of what God has asked you to do. Would you just hold on? Would you trust him? Look at him? Would you have faith in him? Would you be patient? He is faithful mm -hmm. and he will do what he says. He's never late. He's never early. He's always perfectly on time and we can trust him. It reminded us of Psalm 27. I believe it's uh, verse 12 that we need to be strong and courageous. Wait on the Lord again. He says it twice in that Psalm. Mm -hmm. Wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. It takes courage. It does take courage to wait on the Lord. It's it just, uh, it's again, against our nature, and it seems uh, more natural to make something happen. But mm -hmm. continue to wait on the Lord, and uh, He will answer. Yeah, and I was just thinking, in our prayer life, be patient, keep at it, keep enduring, mm -hmm. and don't try and make an action. Just keep giving it to the Lord unless He directs you to do something. So be encouraged. So we'll see you next time on the Midweek Encouragement. Bye-bye.